Hi, I'm Deborah R. Richardson of Deborah R. Richardson LLC, and I work with you to help you clean up your vendor data, clean up your vendor processes so that you can pay the right vendor. Now, this week's Vendor Master File Tip of the Week is one use case for instant payments that speeds up a slow process. And why do I say one use case for instant payments as a like a caveat type of thing? And that's because every time I know you probably hear instant payments, you probably think fraud. And yes, that can be a case as well. Um, but there is a use case that I think you might want to pay some attention to. And so we had uh, on the IOFM, if you're familiar with that accounts payable, actually it's accounts receivable to organization. Uh, I do a lot of speaking and a lot of content um, for that platform. And I'm also an IOFM chapter uh, leader um, president for their Central Atlantic region IOFM chapter. And we recently had Fed Now on uh, as a uh, presenter to talk about the Fed Now instant payment service that was uh, new as of last year, July. So July 2023. So they had about a year. And so we brought them on to talk about it. And I talked about or I um, identify seven quick facts that I learned about instant payments uh, through the FedNow service in a podcast that's actually going to come up right after uh, this video. But there's something that I really think is one of the seven quick facts um, that I think can really help. So I wanted to bring it out in this video. And that is with micro deposits, right? So how many of you use micro deposits or penny tests, right, to make sure that your vendor's account right, belongs to that vendor. But that can be a long process. So first of all, you have to include it in the pay file. And there are certain not your requirements related to micro entries is what they call them, right? And so you have to make sure that that's compliant. Uh, and then once you send it up in the pay file, it's 48 hours. It can take up to maybe a little more, maybe a little less, 48 hours to appear in the vendor's account. And then you have to wait for the vendor to confirm it, right? And so that whole process can take a long time because it's 48 hours. You might have the vendor's attention right then, but now 48 hours has gone by or more and they're off doing vendor things and they take take a longer time, right, to come back and confirm. Well, what if you're in contact with the vendor, you send them an instant payment, and according to the FedNow service rep that we had on our uh, meeting, that time is five seconds. So it reduces down from 48 hours, uh, more or less, to five seconds. That means that all you have to do then is send the instant payment and then wait for the vendor to confirm. Now, waiting for the vendor con to confirm, you might not have a whole lot of um, uh, control over that, but at least if you tell the vendor that you're going to send the payment, you might as well just tell the vendor that you sent the payment and the payment is there. You have your vendor's attention and they can uh, provide you what you need to confirm that payment amount can save you at least 48 hours. All right, so that's it for today. If you would like more information on how to improve your vendor process, please go to my website at DeborahRRichardson.com uh, for free tools and, uh, and resources to avoid fraud, fines, and bad vendor data. And if you like over 163, 149, I don't know, it's a lot of hours I keep adding stuff because uh, frosters keep evolving, uh, regulations keep changing. So if you like um, lots of hours of annual training that is only on the vendor setup and maintenance space, uh, then make sure you check out the Vendor Process Training Center at training.deborahrrichardson.com. So good luck and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified next Tuesday for the next Vendor Master File Tip of the Week.